promised to make us some hot chocolate? She sure did. And some cookies. It's taking her forever. Hey, Finally. Yay. Here, I brought you some hot chocolate with marshmallows Woo! and cookies for our camp out. You know, it's been a long time since I've camped out in my backyard. Me too, and look at all those stars. Wow, have either of you ever counted all those stars in the sky? No way, not me. Oh, a shooting star. Ooh, oh, me either, impossible, too many. Oh, another shooting star. Wow. All these stars in the sky remind me of a story about Abram in the Bible. So far, we've learned that God had a big plan for Abram's life to make him a great nation. God chose Abram because Abram had fabulous faith. So Abram went where God told but him. But then he messed up big time by going to Egypt and lying to Pharaoh about Sarai being his sister. And because he told a lie, things did not go well. That's no surprise. Anyway, Abram got kicked out of Egypt. Can you imagine? How embarrassing. True. However, Abram repented and went back to where God had told him to go. Then he had fabulous faith again and showed he was ready to trust God, but letting Lot choose where he wanted to live first. Abram could have chosen the best land for himself but he knew that trusting God was more important than what he had or where he lived. So kids, get out your Bibles while we get out ours, and let's see what happens to Abram next. So let's open our Bibles to the book of Genesis. Uh, where's the book of Genesis? Well, Miss Lori, it's the easiest book to find because it's the first book in the Bible. Oh, yeah. Then find the uh, big number 15, which is the chapter, and we'll read verses 1 to 6. After this, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision. Do not be afraid, Abram. I am your shield, your very great reward. But Abram said, O oh, sovereign Lord, what can you give me since I remain childless and the one who will inherit? My estate is Eleazar of Damascus. And Abram said, you have given me no children, so a servant in my household will be my heir. Then the word of the Lord came to him. This man will not be your heir, but a son coming from your own body will be your heir. He took him outside and said, look up at the heavens and count the stars, if indeed you can count them. Then he said to him, so shall your offspring be. Abram believed the Lord and he credited to him as righteousness. Oh, you need help? Yeah, I, I, wait, wait, wait. There, there. Here's my Bible. I finally found it. Took you long enough. Did I miss the story? Uh, yeah. It took you like forever. forever. Oh, By the way, didn't God already tell Abram that he was going to have a son and that he was going to become a great nation, have a big family? Mm -hmm. Yes, but Abram started doubting God. He must have been over 80 years old and Sarai would have been over 70 years old, which is way too old to have kids. Way too old. It isn't surprising that Abram began to doubt. I mean, sure, God promised him a son, but at that age? Good grief, 80? Ancient. But I know that sometimes it seems like God isn't answering my prayers right away. If I'm not careful, I can begin to doubt God cares about me. And then it's really tempting to try and figure out how I can take care of things on my own. So kids, I don't know about you, but I have a hard time waiting. This story reminds us that God always keeps his promises, but they may not happen as fast as we want or the way we want. Did you notice in verse one, God says, I am your shield, your very great reward. God promised to protect Abram and he protects us too. Kids, there's no one better to help us find our way in life than God who can do anything and knows everything that is going to happen. We still get to make choices, but we can trust God to lead us and help us make those choices. Practice your faith in God. 
even if you're unsure of your choice, look up at the stars and remember, God is good, God loves you, and you can trust God. What a very great reward that is. Have a great week, kids. Peace, Peace be with you. you.